Hey there! Welcome back to the Noctis on YouTube! If you've ever visited a port, you're probably familiar with the towering iron structures called cranes. Cranes, also known as hoists, are machines consisting of levers and pulleys designed to lift heavy loads. Cranes have been used since ancient Egypt around 3000 BC. At that time, the ancient Egyptians used cranes to lift water from lakes and rivers to irrigate their farmland. These early cranes were simple, consisting of a pole with a bucket at one end designed for balance. They referred to these cranes as shadoofs. Today, cranes serve a much broader range of functions beyond just lifting water. Modern cranes can lift and move much heavier objects, such as cargo or shipping containers, steel frameworks and even entire ships. Modern cranes are also capable of working at various angles, from a few degrees to nearly vertical. Some of them have extending arms or legs that can be firmly anchored in the ground to maintain stability and evenly distribute heavy loads. In ports, cranes play a crucial role in lifting and moving heavy objects onto and off of ships. They don't just lift cargo, they also support global trade, ensuring the smooth functioning of the world economy. Most ports use gantry cranes to facilitate the handling of heavy cargo, weighing between 40 to 120 metric tons. Gantry cranes consist of a long arm that spans the ship with a spreader and a cabin suspended above the main frame, operated by a specialized operator who controls the crane. Meanwhile, the spreader is a large clip that can be moved and used to grip and lift cargo containers from the port to the ship or vice versa. Spreaders are commonly used in various types of cranes for handling shipping containers, Spreaders are designed to lift containers of various sizes, including 20 feet, 40 feet and 50 feet containers. Single spreaders can lift one container at a time, either 20, 40 or 50 feet in size, and some models can even lift two 20 feet containers simultaneously. Cranes are powered by diesel engines or electricity, with most modern cranes today using electricity. At ports, cranes are divided into two main types, quay cranes and yard cranes. So what are the differences between these two? Quay cranes, also known as dock cranes, are cranes operated at ports to lift and move heavy containers along the edge of the dock. When cargo ships dock along the dock's edge, quay cranes are used to load and unload containers and other cargo from ships to land and vice versa. Given their function, quay cranes are also commonly referred to as ship-to-shore cranes. Quay cranes come in two main types, low-profile and high-profile. Low-profile quay cranes have low fixed arms and are commonly used in ports or terminals near airports. In contrast, high-profile quay cranes have adjustable arms to accommodate ships and allow them to pass easily after loading. There are several types of quay cranes, including Panamax cranes, Post Panamax cranes, Super Post Panamax cranes, Bulk Handling cranes, Gantry cranes, Floating cranes, and Tower cranes. Panamax cranes. These cranes are specifically used in the Panama Canal. They have a reach of up to 30 meters and can lift loads to a height of around 38 meters. Panamax cranes can handle loads of approximately 50 to 65 tons, depending on whether they are single or twin cranes. They can lift cargo at speeds of up to 125 meters per minute, with trolley speeds of up to 210 meters per minute. Post Panamax cranes. These cranes are larger than Panamax cranes. They have a horizontal reach of up to 45 meters and a lifting height of about 35 meters. 
Post Panamax cranes can lift loads of 50 to 65 tons, similar to Panamax cranes. They can lift cargo at speeds of up to 150 meters per minute, with trolley speeds of up to 210 meters per minute. Super Post Panamax cranes. These cranes have a reach of around 50 meters and a lifting height of 40 meters. They are designed for handling cargo from very large cargo ships. They can lift loads at speeds of up to 175 meters per minute, with trolley speeds of up to 240 meters per minute. Superpost Panamax cranes have played a crucial role in avoiding delays or cargo congestion in the Panama Canal due to the increasing size of cargo ships. Bulk Handling Cranes these cranes are commonly used for bulk cargo, such as coal, minerals, grains, and more. They have two buckets and handles for loading and unloading cargo. The gripping mechanism used in these cranes is designed for specific product handling and conditions. Floating Cranes These cranes can also load and unload containers from cargo ships. However, as the name suggests, floating cranes are designed on a floating platform placed next to the ship to load cargo from the ship. Tower Cranes Tower cranes are constructed with a fixed foundation, vertical tower and a rotating arm. They have counterweights to balance the arm and a winch and hook that move along the arm to lift and lower loads. Yard Cranes while quay cranes operate along the dock's edge, yard cranes are located inside the port and serve the same purpose, moving shipments and cargo within the port. Yard cranes are commonly used to lift empty or loaded containers onto trucks or to the edge of the dock for loading onto cargo ships. There are two main types of yard cranes, reach stackers and container forklifts, and deck cranes. Reach stackers and container forklifts. These machines are typically used for rearranging or stacking containers within the port. They can also load or unload containers from trucks to trains. Reach stackers and forklifts typically consist of telescopic arms that can be hydraulically extended and mounted on a vehicle. Deck cranes. These cranes are installed on small ships to lift and lower containers to and from the shore. They are operated by trained port crane operators and are typically used in ports that do not have large cranes or when there are fewer containers to load and unload than usual. Some ports also have the world's largest and strongest gantry cranes, such as Tysoon Crane, Honghai Crane, Samson, and Goliath Gantry Cranes and Cone Cranes, largest Goliath Gantry Crane. Tysoon Crane Located in Yantai, Shandong, China, Tysoon Crane holds the Guinness World Record as the largest and strongest crane in the world. It stands at 133 meters in height and has a reach of 120 meters. This crane has a lifting capacity of up to 20,000 tons and requires approximately 50,000 meters of cable to reach its maximum height of 80 meters. Honghai Crane Built by the Chinese Honghua Group in 2014, this gantry crane can lift loads of up to 22,000 tons and reach a height of 65 meters. It is constructed with a super steel structure that weighs up to 11,000 tons, excluding the spreader. Operating this crane requires a significant amount of electricity, up to 1,800 kilowatts. Samson and Goliath Gantry Cranes Located in Queens Island, Belfast, Northern Ireland, Goliath stands at approximately 96 meters in height, while Samson is around 106 meters tall. Both cranes have a reach of about 140 meters and can lift approximately 840 tons at a height of 70 meters. 
Together, they have a combined lifting capacity of around 1,600 tons, making them among the largest cranes in the world. In Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil, there is the largest gantry crane named Goliath. Goliath Gantry Crane was built by Kona Cranes, a renowned lifting and construction equipment company. This crane has a rail reach of up to 210 meters and can lift loads of up to 2,000 tons. It currently operates at the Polo Naval do Rio Grande shipyard. In addition to gantry cranes, many ports also use telescopic cranes. Telescopic cranes are often used for various tasks, including transporting cargo from ships to shore and building offshore oil platforms. Telescopic cranes were developed in the 20th century to replace manual cranes, providing more impressive and flexible services at every port. Telescopic cranes can be maneuvered to locations where goods and cargo need to be moved. These cranes are classified into three categories. Based on lifting capacity. Telescopic cranes in the maritime industry are categorized into smaller models with a turntable, type HM, and larger models with a ring, type HMR, based on their lifting capacity. Based on construction mode. Telescopic cranes are divided into one unit and two unit cranes based on their construction mode. One unit telescopic cranes can be moved from one place to another, while two unit telescopic cranes consist of two parts, the telescopic mast and the superstructure called the jib. This superstructure can be mounted on a truck and functions like a telescopic crane. Based on the number of engines driving the crane, telescopic cranes are powered by either a single engine or separate engines. Single-engine telescopic cranes have one engine that drives both the undercarriage and the superstructure of the crane. In contrast, separate engines are more efficient and have a higher lifting capacity because separate engines drive the undercarriage and superstructure. Finally, there are several of the world's largest crane ships, including SSCV Sleipnir, SSCV Thialf, and Saipem 7000. SSCV Sleipnir holds the title of the world's largest crane ship with a capacity of up to 15,000 tons and a top speed of over 12 knots. In second place is SSCV Thialf, which can lift loads of around 14,200 tons. Lastly, Saipem 7000 features two revolving cranes with a lifting capacity of 7,000 tons each and can accommodate over 700 passengers.